weight for 165 pounds and Johnny Hendricks of Oklahoma State. He is taking center stage trying to become a two time champion against the top seed Ryan Chirella of the University of Michigan. So you look at Chirella unbeaten so far this year fourth last year. Third in 2004 and Johnny Here Hendricks the, the champion last year two time Big 12 champ Hendricks in the orange singlet familiar singlet of Oklahoma State and Ryan Chirella in that blue singlet and a quick quick move by Johnny Hendricks but he doesn't get any points out of it another quick shot to the leg boy does a nice job of keeping his head right in the chest now he's up to the treetop This is where Johnny Hendricks likes to be. You know, he likes to think of it. Here's Johnny. I mean, it's his stage when it comes to the, the elevated mat. It's almost like he wanted to pull Chirella back into the middle, not just to, you know, not just to get better position, but just to show the crowd that he could. He could still score from here, but he gave up great position, and now this is not as good. Shirell is showing some great athleticism and flexibility, but at the end, Hendricks gets the score. They, they scored it. Johnny Hendricks, the man the crowd comes to hate, at least some of the crowd not the cowboy fans though they love him yeah, he's got about three four thousand best friends right now in the stands and another 13 that are booing him he doesn't mind being oh, hey, playing the role of the villain does he constant pressure by Hendricks they want to take advantage of the standing position Shirella an outstanding wrestler on the mat but a little bit more vulnerable on his feet there's Mark Shirella, three-time champion in his own right at the University of Michigan, cheering on his son. The thing about Hendricks is he doesn't have the greatest shot, but he gets to it and he horses you, horses into it. He just shows up in a match like this. The bigger the match, the better Hendricks. Let's go to the middle. Gary Kessel is our referee. There's Johnny Hendricks. Stood junior from Oklahoma State out of Edmond, Oklahoma Memorial High School. And he likes targeting that right leg of Shirella and he'll score again. Is he going to cut him again? Not this time. Well, he's going to try to put some riding time so that he doesn't get in trouble if that's where Shirella gets and neutralizes him with a good ride. Hendricks beat Shirella in the semifinals last year on his way to the championship. Stand up by Shirella and he kicks free. Guys, how is Hendricks able to get so deep on Shirella so often in this match? A lot of, a lot of it is pace. He wants to keep the pace strong, 15, a lot of pressure 15. moving forward. And then he's very quick at dropping in on that right leg. Center! Center! So Johnny Hendricks with a couple of takedowns in that opening period. Well, wait a minute. One second remaining in the opening stanza. We go to period two, but first a report from Quinn Kesnick. I spoke to Ryan this week and he admitted that his father Mark has set an awful high standard and accomplished the most for the maize in blue. But he said, I want to leave a legacy of my own. I want to leave my own mark. What I thought was interesting was that the brothers, uh, they didn't start wrestling until seventh grade and, and the father let the brothers make the decision to wrestle. And Ryan said he made it something I wanted to do. Uh, there is no entitlement to wrestling. It's interesting. You may have the genes, but everything on the mat is earned. That's interesting too that you know gave him that freedom a three time champ Mark Shirella older brother Mark Mark Junior wrestled for Michigan so did so has his younger brother Josh and now Ryan a senior at Michigan. Ryan's been looking forward to this match since last year they met in last year's semifinals where Johnny Hendricks beating six to two to go to the finals on his way to the national championship. 
So Ryan Shirell up in anticipating this, want to turn it around. He knows the crowd's going to be loud. He said, yeah, I just want to turn it into a positive. Another deep shot for Johnny Hendricks. Well, this time Shirell able to counter it a little bit, get his hips away. Hendricks showing the power he has to be able to come up off the bottom like that, but Shirell doing a great job here of sprawling. See if he can break the lock, maybe spit behind. Gary Kessel is our referee for this match. Well, we talked about the Shirella family. Ryan is roommates with Josh. He's his best friend. They even drill and wrestle together, and they were concerned when Josh lost that it may impact Ryan. Well, Hendricks being very I'm surprised this here. isn't potentially dangerous by the referees, but. They're letting him wrestle freely here, and there it is. Third time that Johnny Hendricks has gotten through the head hands defense of Ryan Shirella. He's got that solved, and Shirella is going to have to solve that problem himself and not let Hendricks get into his leg so easily. Keeps that right hand back a little bit, Ryan does. And that, it's not out in front of the leg, so Hendricks is going right in and grabbing. See what? Terrell, very important to just keep from getting taken down because his position's on top. He'll get to be there, hopefully, in the third period. And he's only down by a point, so a turn could win it. Whoa! Two! He gets it! And he's killed! Whoa! He runs out of time. Whoa! Oh, my. Four-pointer. Two for reversal, two for back points. I'm not sure that wasn't three. Okay, he's got he's got that cradle locked up. Now watch, he's gonna roll across his back, pull him over. And he's there. One, two, three, four, five, six. How is that not three? Got a good point there, Tim. And they only gave him two. Boy, the only thing that saved Johnny Hendricks there was the bell at the end of the period. And look where Chirella is. He's right where he wants to be. He is strong, experienced, and very good on top, just like his dad. Well, he said, Green, I'll tell you when. Watch the whistle. Come on, Tom. Chirella likes to throw legs on top here. Hendricks knows that. Let's see how Chirella will try and get in. Stay tight. See, he doesn't want too much hip separation. You hear Kirk Trost, the assistant coach, saying, stay with the hips, stay with the hips. I like how he's holding him over here. He's giving up his head, though. But it's all Johnny Hendricks is looking for, see? And he's, he's working against one of the best in the nation in college wrestling from the top, Ryan Shirell. Got to bring him down to the mat. Coach Smith shouting encouragement. You just saw him on the screen. Joe McFarlane and Kirk Trost, the coaches in the Michigan corner, and the Smith brothers, John and Pat. Six national championships between them in the corner. <laughs> Escape for Hendricks. Down two, though. Riding time. Not right now, not a factor. We have us a horse race. Hendricks showing that he can't take Shirella down, can easily tie this match. Michigan coaches protesting. There's that relentless, relentless Hendricks pressure forward. 
Why did Hendricks let him go so easily? Does he feel like he's got a better shot instead of riding them out and going into the overtime and taking another takedown here? That is his plan. He didn't want to get a stalling warning on him. Now, if he can keep a deep wizard here, this is good for Shirella because it's a time waster. If he can keep it tight. Oh, and that's that's trying to rubber arm out like that. Now he needs to finish. Oh, wow. With only three seconds to go. The Smiths are going crazy. Electrifying match at 165. Two takedowns, both on the edge of the mat. Both calls the Michigan coaches did not like. Hendricks running over to the Oklahoma State section, looking for some friends. John Smith reacting to the end. Mark Sorella, Ryan's dad, a much different reaction. Johnny Hendricks celebrating with that section of Cowboy fans. Your two-time champ at 165. Wow, what a match. Hendricks and Sorella going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And in the end, it's Johnny Hendricks, the champion.